All right, this is my new trailer. I've been promising to make a video on brand spanking new, 14 foot long with a V nose, seven foot wide, tandem axles. Um, let's go around here to the name plate here. It weighs, if I'm reading this right, 3,500 pounds and will haul, I guess 7,000. Unless that's the weight of the trailer and the load, but either way, it's a tandem axle, so it'll it'll ride a little more stable and haul more weight. It's got LED lights all the way around here, there, there, and obviously on the back. It's got a long strip on the back on each side, three up at the top, rubber bumpers. We'll tag light down here. Let's see. I'll open him up real quick. This ain't nothing special. Just a uh, ramp door, and it and it's got this little extension flap on there. Give a little smoother transition coming in and out. Um, I'll walk around inside to show in there. I'm tearing something up wood okay moving right along it is cold outside it's about 30 degrees today um i've got a wire running here but i do like this handle better because it will just open up i can key lock it instead of the you know the latch where you gotta hang a lock and also from the inside i can close it up and be able to get out I've just got a light rigged up in here for now. Um, so obviously that junk ain't gonna stay, but I did want to get a light set up. Um, but this is it. It's got this V nose in the front, which gives you about another foot from, um, you know, from this, this cutoff point on up. Um, but I put this little cabinet in here. Um, I really like, I was worried that the it wouldn't stay closed going down the road, but you can see this is uh, pretty, I mean, it, it closes back pretty good, but I wanna just kinda keep paperwork and stuff like that in there. I think I've got, well, I've got a book on kinda deck type stuff and then whatever, I'm gonna keep paperwork in there. Now this, this um, little desktop here, I'll step back little desktop was my wife's idea but you know I can I can sit in here and do anything I need to do with I don't know an invoice or or if I just want to sit here and play on my phone or, or eat my lunch whatever um, but then it will go all the way up and you can latch it at the top this hose over here to catch it but anyway I can latch it up at the top and then it's out of the way but that's pretty cool. I thought that was a neat idea. Um, I'm still getting this thing organized. But I got my batteries that I'm gonna have over here, or already have over here. I've just gotta get an electrical run down the uh, floor. I'm gonna get a hole in there where I can just, I had my other one where I had a, a box on the outside of the wall, um, a male receptacle, so I could just plug a drop cord in when I pulled up. But I really don't like I don't want to cut a hole in the side of this which you know I could make it look good but what I'm thinking is just I'll have cut a little hole in the floor and drop a pigtail through that way when I get home I can drop my little pigtail through and plug it in and then when I get ready to go just unplug it and stick it back up through here um, so just got to get that figured out um, moving on I'm just putting stuff wherever I can get it I've got my my level up here uh, I've got some of the stuff from my other trailer in this this rack here and again this isn't completely organized but I just kind of grabbed all my stuff from my smaller trailer and moved over here um, and then immediately started working out of it so it's just going to kind of be a work in progress I learned on my other one that you know you, if you set it all up um, on day one you're going to change a bunch of that stuff because you don't know what you're going to be doing and how is you know how what, what's best so as time goes on i will adjust it to what works best for me 
But this toolbox, if you've watched any of my other videos, this toolbox has uh, been with me from the beginning. And I've really, I've really beat it up. I've forgotten, left this thing unlocked, and going down the road, it just dumps out. But it's, it's a, it's a very handy little toolbox. All my random stuff is in here, um, pliers and any kind of hand tool like that. It's in this drawer. Um, moving down, I think, yeah, this is more of all my plumbing type stuff. Just uh, everything pertains to water. Uh, tapes all the different tape in here and then down here is kind of an electrical drawer got my wiggy this little receptacle tester wire nuts and crimps and this drawer is really taking a beating but i've got wrenches and all. i won't go any further than that um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get that other one open right now i got one hand and this it's just extra electrical stuff some boxes and stuff like that down here i was keeping my power tools over here but now i've done kind of kind of moved over here with those but this is just a, a bigger drawer uh let's see yep big heavy hammers sledge hammer regular hammer just any type of any type of thing like that you know this wouldn't make sense to anybody else but me but that's the only really one that matters drill bits um this is like phillips head tips socket tips all stuff for my my drill right here and this is a bunch of screwdrivers and nut drivers and a couple random chisels in there and then that, that it's just kind of junky down here but um, i got some blocks of wood i like to keep a few blocks of wood in here because i always seem to need one this is my um rockwell jaw horse i think it's called i use it some but not as much as i probably ought to i've um, got a couple places for garden tools and you know you can see the air hose and all that stuff over here I've, I've put this ladder in here it's on a hook or an eye back there with a little bungee coming around it's just i have to keep that one in here i'm gonna put a ladder rack on top for my 24 foot extension ladder i've got a 10 foot step ladder i'll put those on top but i still have to have this ladder to get up there to get those down when i need them but this this ladder i use a lot more often this is a lightweight ladder i can unhook it and and walk right out the door with it 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 clears the top but i have to lean it down to clear that beam now this table i use all the time anytime i'm going to be at a job for more than 30 minutes i'll set that table up and have all my tools that i'm outside working with instead of just laying them all over here there or in the grass or on the concrete if i put them on that table it, it seems to keep up with them better I use these saw horses all the time. They, they break down really well. It's more cobalt tools. My wife and girls got me those. Um, this is my miter saw stand. I use it anytime I get that miter saw out. This this comes in handy, but I, I mounted this in here and I mounted this shelf so that this would just get up under there. I can just barely get it in there. Just trying to take advantage of every inch. Of course, my table saw. I found a little place to hang my i don't know what the proper name for this is but it's a square but i think it's mainly for you know for sheet wood marking across sheet wood and drywall now this shelf is being recycled from my other trailer i'm keeping my my hardware in here but it wants to fall out i'm thinking i might put another shelf going across you know i have a lip on all my shelves so things won't fall out going down the road all the way around but when I, these are starting to get stacked up, so all this is just wasted space. So I'm gonna probably put another shelf in here so I can get, you know, twice as much hardware in here. And that's just all kind of different stuff. Now up here, um, these are empty, but these are all these different containers that I, they use those, those have things in them. This is empty, this is empty. I think this is PEX. No, this is uh, for my Craig jig. So I've got my, uh, Craig screws in there So up there up there um, This is PEX. This is for water line and everything else Which I'm starting to think I'm not gonna be using that stuff much more You know, I've got that PEX tool, but with shark bite You know, you don't unless you're gonna do a lot of long, you know, a lot of plumbing You just usually just stick a shark bite in there and be done um, I think this 
Yeah, this is just nails. I'm not going to get all this out. It's just nails. I don't know if you can see up in there or not, but it's just a container with nails. This one has screws in it. I'll show you it, but, you know, it's just it's just what it says it is. It's screws. So I can grab that out. Like I said, this is the same nails. Um, let's see. So you can see what I see. That's why I keep looking over here. Because this camera, my telephone shows me what the camera's looking at. But anyway, um, I, I built this shelf so that I could get my um, any power tools. This is a, a finished nailer. That's my little jigsaw, and you see my power or my power hand tools are in here. I really need to do a little better than this. But right now, that's what I got: sander, frame, and nailer. Just just um, side grinder. Oh, down here, the reason I built this shelf the size that I built it is because this miter saw will fit. Seems like something must be hitting it. But this miter saw, well, <laughs> miter saw will fit right up in there. It, it doesn't stick out much, if, if any. That little part where it goes on my miter saw stand sticks out some, and the air compressor. But the reason I built it, the side, this whole cabinet, the size that I built it, is because I wanted to get that miter saw in there without it sticking out in the in the road, so to speak. But anyway, you see that is in there. The air compressor is in there, and then over here, it might be a little dark over here. Um, you really can't see up in there. But these these little shelves I built for um, for caulk, for spray paint. I don't really have one can of spray paint in there but a lot of caulk and uh glues wd-40 i've even got some uh, bug spray in there wasp killer i've run into those before but that's that's a handy little section right there got my little shop back on the wall got some clamps stuck up there um i have thought about taking a piece of four inch pvc and running down through here for small pieces of trim or or pex pipe but i don't want to run into an issue of these coming out and hitting the pipe so i'm just gonna have to hold something up here and see how it goes and see i don't want to go in front of, i don't want to cover this vent up either so it would have to be over here or i guess i could get it on the left side of the light but i'll figure it out it's not important it's just you know i I want to I want to take advantage of every single inch of this thing, but I don't want to just start sticking stuff kind of everywhere. Um, also, the benefit of this trailer is I'm gonna try to keep the the middle as open as I can, but it's 14 foot long. But I can get from from the back wall all the way to the front is right at 15 feet. Now I can't get a 16 foot deck board in here, but I can get a 12 foot board in here. I don't even know if they really sell many 14 foot boards, but I can get a, a long piece of wood in here, or I can get a piece of four by eight sheet wood and lay up against here and, and kind of lock it in with a with a bungee or whatever. But this this trailer is a foot wider, so the walls aren't closing in on me like my other one were was. Um, so again, I can get wood down the middle. I really don't know what else to show you in this. Um, I, th I think I've pretty much covered it all. I mean, you, you know, this isn't one of those, what's his name, Paul, Ron Polk, I think. Is that it? One of those trailers where he's just got all kind of great handy stuff in there. I'd love to have one of those, but I really just don't have the time to build that. I don't even know if I want to do that expense. But that's all of it for this trailer. Um, what are we at, about 14 minutes? I'm gonna get it in under 15 minutes. Um, that's it. I'll um, I'll post updates as I as I update this thing. Um, again, I, I think I said in my other video I've got a GoPro camera now, so it, hopefully making videos will be a little more easy for me. I'm gonna let my daughter start doing the editing. She's 12 years old, so obviously she knows more about editing videos than I do. Um, so anyway, hopefully I'll be able to get more stuff out. Got any questions? Feel free to ask. Um, I, I try to respond to everybody's comments. Um, if you want me to make a video on something, let me know. I'll be happy to happy to do that. Um, please subscribe to the video. Give it a thumbs up. 
maybe I can get rich off of YouTube and quit um, being a professional handyman. Anyway, thanks guys. See you on the next adventure.